Well, hello there, guys. How is it going? It is currently uh, 20 past 12 in the middle of the night on Thursday. Uh, it is technically the 21st of October. And guess what? If you can't already tell, Civilization VI has been released. So this is literally my first look at it. And I've been watching pre-released pe people who've got like pre-released versions like mostly just quill and i've been live on it and i wanted to get it straight away so i'm literally just going to get straight into playing a game technically i have work in the morning but don't tell anyone that uh so yeah we're literally just going to go straight in i'm going to go for a random leader uh let me think let's let i'm, I'm not i'm going to go with king difficulty king yeah, we'll go with King. I'm not. I'm not great with Civ as it is, so we're going to do that. We're going to do Standard. Um, if I do Shuffle, does that mean that that's random? Basically, I'm going to assume. So we've also got Continents, Fractal, Island, Iron Plates. Oh, Inland Sea. Sorry, Pangea. We're going to do Shuffle because we want to do random, and we're going to do a Standard. I don't know if what's our sort of setup. Just that. That sort of thing. Yep, yep, that's all good. We're just going to go straight into this. We're going to get in. From the first and we got Cynthia. The great beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. All people will tremble with fear and respect for you, great warrior Queen Tamiris. For it is from the back of your stallion that you shall look upon and lead the Scythian people. Great epics will be told of the horse warriors that ride forth from the steppe, and at the front line of every battle, they will find you. Ride on, fierce Queen, and may your friends be true, just as your enemies falter. Now I'm hoping my audio is all set up right. I'm hoping it's not too quiet in the background and that I'm too loud. Should be all good though. But so we've rolled the Scythian, um, Scythian Empire. I don't know how you quite say it. And Tomiris is the leader. Uh, so what do we get as this character? Killer of Cyrus. All units receive plus five combat strength when attacking wounded units. When the elim when the eliminated when they eliminate a unit, they heal up to 50 hit points. That is awesome. So in other words, we're a warring factor faction, so to say. Uh, people of the Steep receive a second light cavalry unit of or sucker horse archer each time you train a light cavalry unit or horse archer. So in other words, we want to do a lot of horses. And that horse archer is our unique unit. And a Kurgan, a unique improvement. It doesn't really quite tell us what that in unique improvement is. So what... So, oh. Uh, I've already set up that I'm new to Civilization 6, so I want that sort of thing. And audio seems quite loud in my ear, but seems alright on the desktop. Awesome. So, uh, what was I about to say? I was going to say something before she interrupted me. Oh yeah, what are, we, what are we on? So if I do that... No, if I do that, it does. It does. Right, we are on, obviously, King, and we're on Standard. It's not telling me what the map is like the other version usually does, so I don't know what I'm playing right now. Okay, well, fair enough. So, what is new with Civilization VI? Well, it is a lot of difference. There is technically two tech trees. There is like your, re your actual tech, which is research, and then you have an actual culture tree. So, we'll, we'll, and yeah, there's all sorts. Let me, let's look at this tech tree, open the tech tree. Uh, so the first three, usual sort of things, general ideas, but you'll see at the bottom of everything beyond the first three that there is a boost in ways of for the things like boost to boost, find a city on the coast, which we're probably going to do because of where we've already started, but that's beside the point. But basically that is a eureka moment, which gives you half of the research, which is a good way of going through it. And you get the same on your culture. Open deck tree. Uh, currently, you can only do code of, code, code of laws, which is going to be the first thing. And again, 
improvements and things that gives you a you or oh, uh, not eureka in this sense. It is a something another inspiration, I believe is the word. But yeah, so where are we settled. We are settled on the coast. We have Coco. Can I? Where's the resource things? Uh, that's the strategic view. That's not what I want. Map options. I want to see the yield icons, please. Thank you. And that actual. I'm going to actually have to change that audio because it's a little bit loud for the background. Ambient sounds. Let's bring that down a little bit because it's a bit loud in my ear. Uh, there we go. I can actually hear a bit better now. It's still a bit loud, but I'm sure it's fine. So yeah, bananas, cocoa, cows, more bananas, mountain. So yeah, we'll go with that. So there's no happiness exactly in this uh, this version. It is all on um, housing capacity, and you get fresh water by being well. It depends on the water source, basically. So if there's uh, no water, you don't get an extra housing. You'll get your better base of two. If you get near some amount of water, you get one. If you get fresh water, you get three. And I think we're going to be settling on coastal. Usually it would come up with the thing, but it didn't this time. But still. And here is the Eureka because we settled on the coast. Awesome. Uh, so if we click on that, we have a housing capacity of four, which I believe means that we're not on actual fresh water, we're just on. Uh, because it's on the coast. But it's water. Awesome. Uh, and you're just going to wander off this way a bit. And that way a bit. I suppose what I could have done was actually done that first and realised there was fish there. And perhaps moved up one. One, two, one, two, three, and got the fish instead. I've already made a mistake with where I settled, but one, two, three, one, two, three, I would have missed out on the culture there. Well, not the culture, the second cocoa. And not been there but yeah it's all good so choose production what am i going to build first uh, what what exactly can i do with this cult this is this is probably more of a domination kind of run so i think i need to go with actual domination sort of thing uh what there is the thing of there is there is barbarians are a lot more of a problem so i'm going to go with a slinger straight away i think slinger scout monument i think is what i'm going to do don't know how you can queue up i don't think you can um, nope, don't think so. So to choose the research, so if we open up that, we can do any of the number, the basics of the three, and we've already got the, the boost to sailing, which would give us a galley and make fishing boats. So another improve, another change in this one would be the workers, but we'll get there in a moment. Um, well, first of all, what have I got around me, and what would I need? I would need. Irrigation, irrigation, animal husbandry. And where that's not there currently, I would need irrigation more. And irrigation is... There. And that would be to farm a resource, but I don't have a resource to farm without doing irrigation first. But that would be pottery, basically. So we're just going to do pottery. Probably into irrigation. Maybe we might do sailing first. Oh, it's updated as well, so it's only going to take nine turns. Because, yeah, I don't think there's any way we can farm a resource before any other reason. Cool. Basically, that's that, and we're going to go straight into the next turn. Oh, I've been dying to do this game. Like, just, yeah. Uh, we're going to wander around this way. And, ooh, what's this? Tea. And that gives science as well. That's uh, cool. And there's double fish here. I wouldn't have got both fish if I was to sell there, so maybe it's actually a good thing that I didn't, because I could maybe put another city here, which would be right next to fresh water, and two things here, and found my second thing already, and I'm going to use a very useful thing of pins. Pins. Uh, what am I going to put for cities? Because they've got all sorts of different little things. I'm just going to put that tag and just put city, because, yeah, that will give, like, double fish, more cocoa, Two tea resources, we're on the fresh water, mountain. I think that's a pretty good one. Probably better than the current one that we got. Uh, I don't want any more. So, next turn. What are you currently? You're probably working the. What are you actually working? 
uh, manage city you're working, that which is two food, one production, and three gold. I think I might prefer you to do that, which is three food. I don't necessarily need all the gold. Gold is good to some degree, but I think food growing faster would mean that I get things quicker in general. So yeah, that's fine. Um, another, so another thing uh, in change to Civ 6 is the way the movement works. There obviously there's a movement cost of two to go on. To, well, there's a movement cost of two to go onto a hill. So if I was to move on a flatland first and then onto the hill, it wouldn't work anymore. I would have to have both my moves to get onto this hill. Uh, same with crossing a river, although crossing a river doesn't necessarily cause problems if you've got a city. If that was the city there, then it wouldn't cause me a problem. But either way, I think I'm going to go up onto the hill. I'm going to go up onto the hill. Get a little bit of more vision that way. Maybe go that way. I don't know where I want to go exactly. Uh, what's that? That's jade, isn't it? Requires mining. Again, if I was there, I could have got that. And I'm not going to get that from that one. So I'm going to have to find out what's there. Because that gives you culture as well. Not that that's an important thing. Hmm. Let's go that way. That's another couple of mountains. I really like the graphics on this one as well. It's really cool. Why has that got so much production on it? Is it because it's wooden hills? Maybe? Probably? I'm guessing so. You're going to grow soon enough. How are we doing on Code of Laws and stuff? Oh look, it's a scout, which is kind of annoying because my warrior is all the way over here. So, how barbarians work. Obviously, they still have barbarian encampments, but they first send out a scout to find your cities, which this one has basically done. And then it's going to go back to his barbarian encampment, then it's going to spawn a load more barbarians to come and attack the city. Which means that I have a need to kill this scout, which I don't think I'm going to be able to do. Or, I get prepared for it. But I want to go and explore a bit more first, and then I'm going to bring it around. Ooh, there's crabs as well. One, two, three, and that's within three tiles of this city, so that is awesome. I'm liking this. So you're probably going to start running back to where you came from, and then there's going to be a lot of things turning up here. No, no, you're wandering that way. Interesting. Well, we're going to carry on this way. And there's more barbarians here than I was expecting. Well, there's more mountains here than I was expecting. And I believe that's probably another city. Maybe America. I think America might be a blue. We shall find out soon enough. I haven't found any goodie house either. Oh no, it's um, Greece. Of Athens, I greet you on behalf of the democracy. I trust I'll... I uh, trust you'll let me conduct my business with these neutrals. Neutral parties. Because he likes city-states. It's an honor to meet you. We would love to sample your hospitality. Eureka moment! After meeting another civilization. So, uh, these Eurekas are really... from all sorts of things. Uh, you have met another civilization. Awesome. Uh, the warrior's going to come back down this way and go and find where that encampment is that that scout's probably going to. And this sling is going to be useful, in general. Oh look, there's horsemen. That's not a good start. Perhaps it's already gone back and it's already starting to spawn things. Thankfully we've got Selinga coming in soon. And we've already grown. And we've got that. Uh, minor defeat. That's, um... Uh, yeah. So another thing that they've got that's kind of in the background on things, which you can't see on this one, is uh, type casting. So if if this was to be, well, basically melee strength, melee units like this warrior have a advantage against anti cavalry, which obviously in this sense it's not really helpful because that's a general cavalry, I'm guessing. So I am kind of a little bit stuck. How about I go and go through, because for some reason they seem to have um, open borders straight away. Right, uh, we're going to put you through into there, and there's horses, that's useful. One, two, three, that's within border range, so yeah, what are you working by the way? Uh, you're now working that one, which is okay, uh, let me unlock you, and... 
I suppose that's kind of okay, but I would kind of like you to grow faster. So if I was to click on that and then to click on that, you're going to grow in five turns instead of what was it beforehand. Five turns. So it doesn't make a difference. Okay. Choose in production. I was thinking scout next, wasn't I? And then... Monument. Might also be useful for a builder. Not that there's a lot I can do just yet. Because I've done pottery first, because I was going to go up to irrigation, because there's nothing I can farm yet, but there's two things that would be quite useful. And then the cattle just needs husbandry, and because it wasn't in my border straight away, I wasn't going to use it, but yeah, fine. Uh, but we're going to do scout first, I think, because then we can explore things better, and there's all sorts of more things, like city-states, to be useful. All right. Yep, okay. There is also another mechanic that is implemented that, well, a slight change to things. Um, the, uh, what's the word? Area of effect movement rate thingamajiggy. I've forgotten what it's called. Now there's two horses. Right, I've probably just got myself into a real bad spot there now. That warrior is a little bit screwed. You're just going to go on fortify. Um, yeah. How it used to be is that if you were to move adjacent, or uh, like from what, how I just done, which was not a very good demonstration, you would only be able to do that move and you wouldn't be able to carry on. But how it is now is if you were to move up to a, I think it's mostly melee units, I don't think uh, ranged units have, a, have the effect, I can't remember what it's called, really annoying, but that's when you that's when your move stops. You can still attack them, but that's you can't move on from there. Right, what are we going to do next? I think... Um, find an actual wonder. haven't found an actual wonder yet. Irrigation would be useful. Animal husbandry would also be useful. Uh, what would I get? It doesn't tell me what would happen when I get it. So if I was to pasture, because that's a pasture one production, so it would be plus one production. Um, so plantation is gold on everything else. If you build on a luxury resource, the city will gain use of the resource. But it will be uh, gold, 0.5 a housing. That's the word, housing. Plus one food and plus one gold again. Oh, through other things, okay. Uh, do I want to go to that first, or do I want to get the animal husbandry... Um, if it's animal husbandry, it's plus one production, which would be useful, and more gold isn't necessarily useful. I think I'm going to do animal husbandry because I've got a bit of time still yet. Uh, and we're going to see whether my warrior is going to get murdered. Because, um, yeah. He's in a very bad spot, and I don't know what to do about that. Well, apparently you survive that, but I don't think you're going to survive again. Defense modifier 6. What have I got on the m on here? 3. Okay, if I were to go there, I have more of a defense modifier, and then hopefully it won't kill me. Granted, I'm not fortified, but that might be a better idea. I was just trying to sneak behind it to get back to my home, <laughs> and I chose the wrong way. And they don't kill the animals in these things, they just run away, which is so cool. Right, can I run away even more? Apparently not. But I don't think I can take two hits, because what am I at now? 47, which means I've basically taken 50 from two hits. Mm, I might be alright, we'll give it a try. We're going to fortify up. And probably it's probably a wrong move. It'd be useful if I was to get like better defense of thing there, but it's not gonna happen in time. You've just built a slinger. That would be useful to help me with. Right, are you gonna attack me again? No, you're not. You're gonna bounce back and forth. Okay. Right, you're now on thirty six. And you were on forty seven or something, which means you would have had ten at least. 
57 to 36, which was like 19. I should have just paid attention to what it said. You might be able to survive this. Oh, that's, that was that one. I was thinking, decisive victory against that one? No. If I was to be attacking, I would survive. And because I'm defending... Okay, I'm going to leave him be. I think he's going to be alright. Oh, just keep fortifying. I think you're going to be okay. We have sent you a delegation bearing gifts. Don't be alarmed, there's no large wooden horse involved. <laughs> Your delegation is most well... We're going to be nice for now. Cool. Uh, what? What? Where did that just come from? And am I at my pop I'm nearly at my population house housing limit. But, okay, I don't know where you just came from, but you're rather annoying that you're now there. But we're going to just do that. Another thing is, you can't bombard from your city until you get walls. Or at least the first level of walls. Because there's several layers of walls. Levels of walls. But we'll get to that. Eventually. So we're going to get the scout in another turn. Uh, the warrior is going to be nice. That's cool. What are you doing? You shooting me? You're shooting me. That's fair. And there's another scout. Go away. Enacting new policies in our government can be ah. a great benefit. Our people await your decree. Cool. So. Reconnaissance units like scouts are unique in that they can gain experience by exploring and discovering parts of the world. Yes, that too. At his best, man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law and justice, he is the worst. Cool. Thank you very much, Mr. Sean Bean. Is it Sean Bean? I think that's his name. I'm bad otherwise. Right, so this is another thing. You have government's trees and you have policies. Uh, eventually you can change it and you get more, as you can see here. But we'll come into that a bit later. What I'm currently doing is adding my first set of policies into my uh, first government, which is chiefdom. Uh, and what I'm going to do is basically discipline straight away. And we're going to go for gawking, which I think is pretty much how things go straight away. Which just seems like that's what you do. Unless you're going to be safe against barbarians and you go for the double experience. But that, I think, is going to be fine. Yes, we are going to do that, which means that I now have a lot better strength against these creatures. Or these barbarians. Creatures. Bad wording. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to just attack you. Uh, we're going to leave it be because I want to kill with the slinger because that's what's helpful. So the scout's going to come this way and you're just going to explore down this general direction. Ooh, there's elephants. Or ivory. Now we need to change the civics. Uh, improve three tiles. We won't get to get that anytime soon. Foreign trade. If you discover a second continent. Continents work a little bit different in the fact of it's not necessarily the actual physical landmass. It works out the same as... This is all some little thing as well. Uh, oh, that was the that would have been useful. So, uh, it doesn't really tell me now what level of water I have along here. It does there, though. Um, but what I'm looking for is... Uh, continent. So as you can see, there's only one colour so far, but it works that you can have a secondary continent uh, on the same actual landmass. A bit like uh, Europe and Asia. Uh, are we going to choose a thing? So we're going to go build a next, I believe. Although actually you're on your housing, well, you, if you build that, it's going to be fine. Yeah, that was, that was what I wanted to do. Right, my warrior will come back soon. Uh, you're sending in more units to me, that's not... Uh, I don't like this. Uh, you're going to probably move back into the city, I think, next, and then attack him anyway, because he has no area of control. Cool. So yeah, what we're going to do is you're going to move into the city and kill that thing, which is going to give us an Eureka. Eureka to um, archery, I believe. Cool. Scout, I'm going to send you up on the hill, and then you're going to go back down that way. And there's barbarians. More barbarians. How's my warrior doing health-wise? Still slow. You're having barbarian problems as well, by the looks of it. Don't want to change anything there, though. Uh, so, next of all... Um, 
I am currently building a bit worker. But there's not a lot of difference in me doing archery. Well, actually, that lines up quite well, I think, archery. Um, yeah, that will be fine. I'm going to do another turn. Oop, I'm attacking my things there. Oh. My ears are getting a little bit painful. With my headphones on. Oh, man, you're going to actually attack my scout, are you? Okay. Uh, you do, in fact, have a upgrade, a promotion available, but the problem is the promotion ends your turn. So do I want to actually attack the Barbarian unit, or do I want to take the promotion? I think I'm going to take the attack first. Because, um, yeah, it's a bit better than anything else. Uh, you're going to just run away in general. That is a goodie hut, which is right here. How come I'm getting... Oh, yeah, you get three movement in general anyway. So you're going to go up to there, and that gives us a general Eureka to the irrigation that we want. Actually, that's pretty awesome, which means that makes life a lot easier in general. Awesome. Cool. So yeah, but, uh, village discovered, but the upgrade, which I haven't done yet, barbarian approaching, next turn. Uh, you're advised to leave our neighbor's city, in, the neighboring city-state to us. I haven't even met it yet, as far as I know. But yeah, okay. Yeah, his his the, all civilizations have a agenda and then a hidden agenda. His agenda is usually something to do with city states. In that he likes his current city states. Uh, seeing as we haven't met any, he likes us because of that. We're just gonna kill you first. Cool. I don't know if you actually get experience still or not. Uh, but you're healing. You're healing even. No, that's interesting. You didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, you're just gonna heal up quickly while you can. How's my warrior doing? What are you at? You are at 86. We'll give you one more turn, and then we're going to try and bring you back. Because, um, yeah, we need that. You, you were giving out a lot of units. How are you doing so many units? Right. Uh, we're going to give you your promotion now. Uh, plus 10 combat strength when occupying a district or fort. Plus 5 range strength versus land units. Plus 7 strength versus land or naval, plus range strength versus district defenses. Uh, access, exercise zone of control. Zone of control. Oh, excuse me. Zone of control. That's the term I was looking for. And I'm attacking my thing again. Apologies. Defending versus city attacks. And plus additional attack per turn if unit has not moved. Well, obviously, I want to get to that. But I think I'm going to go with garrison currently because that is where you're currently sitting. Another thing is that Slinger only has one uh, range. Which um, you probably noticed, but yeah, and you're gonna start moving yourself. I think we're gonna go this way because where they're scouting this way, it might be a bit easier. Although there's water here, which is um, that's coast, which means I can't actually get that way from here. So that's kind of not useful. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back this way because that's the only way I can get there. Apparently, right? Useful. Worker being built, used there. They're really getting their things quick. Right, you're going to come this way in as much time as you can. Hopefully, the borders aren't going to close in time or at a random time. Uh, you move to there. Maybe you can gash this scout. Next turn, you should be filled up, fully healed at that point, and then we're going to move you along. Now, there's two scouts. Of course, there's two scouts. Does that take up? I think that's going to take up both my moves, isn't it? Move there. Can I attack? No, I cannot. I'm going to just take that attack. Scouts do get promotions as well, which will be useful. Okay. Warrior's working his way around. You're really building things quick. Blimey, Athens. Uh, you take that shot, just because he's being annoying there. He's probably going to run away and cause more people. Suddenly that scout that I attacked turned into a warrior. Obviously that's not how it happened, but that's just kind of annoying. You're going to run away this way. And one more. I'm thinking more on something like fractal map. Fractured map. 
Something like that. Right, another turn. Hopefully my warrior is going to get back at some point. Because this, this worker otherwise isn't really going to be all that useful. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. I knew my work. Then can you... That means I can upgrade my thing. Ooh, rice. That's, um... Ooh, another good city point over here then, I'm guessing. Right, you can be upgraded. Can you upgrade now? 30? Oh, I've got loads of money. Of course I can upgrade you. Awesome. So now I have an archer. Cool. And now I have a builder, which I'm hoping... Ooh, okay. That, what What is this? What does this do? Build improvement Kurgan, which is basically one gold and one faith. Ah, faith. Faith is useful. Gold is also useful, but do I want to build that right now, or do I want to make this a bit more of a important thing? The only problem is I'm worried if I go there I'm going to get attacked by something from over here. Uh, gotta risk it for a biscuit, so to say. Uh, and then research. So we're going to go with irrigation next afterwards because we need that. And what we're going to build after that is uh, a granary because of our housing needs to go up. Yeah, we're going to go with a granary. Then we're going to go with a settler and we're going to go settle the city up here.